So let's talk for a second till my yellow triangle turns back normal. Um, so I'm gonna take a little mental health break and deal with you guys. And just say, not deal with you guys, that was terrible to say. Chit chat with you guys, have a conversation. I look rough, I know it's puff week, it'll be all right. We'll be, we'll try again this weekend. It's just long week. Um, what's coming up new? I have recently become a brand ambassador for two companies, so yay. Um, I'm just waiting on final paperwork and things like that and all that good stuff, sign some stuff, get stuff ready. So I've got videos coming for you guys on that, um, how that's gonna go. I have recently ventured off into doing my own nails. Not right now, I just took them off. Um, I am actually going to order a dip powder set next week. And I'm thinking about recording myself doing the dip powder because the nail shop is high. The last time I went to get my nails done, like the pretty pink nails I had a couple months ago, it was like 65 bucks. Nothing special, just acrylic color, coffin nails, short, medium short coffin nails I guess they weren't just that long well no I don't think they were medium long it's my first time with long nails 65 bucks and so I bought some acrylic and some monomer and brushes and I did my nails um if you look at a couple of my videos from the last couple weeks those were the nails that I did myself they were bumpy and a mess because it was my first time but from far away they looked great so that was good for me um but I want to try the dip powder, so I have been following this young lady. Uh, her handle is Long Hair Pretty Nails, and she's not a certified nail technician. She is self-taught, and she does her own nails. So um, she used this kit, and she had a link for a coupon code. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to try the dip powder and possibly do a video. If I don't post the video of me doing my nails, I will post a review of the dip powder after my nails are done and how that goes. Cause I love to have my nails done, but it's just so freaking high. I saw a post on Facebook earlier, a girl paid $120 for a manicure and pedicure. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, that sounds about right. Like didn't concern me. Didn't, I wasn't appalled. I, I and I was just like, I know I can't do it though. Um, I still may actually go like get a, pedicure because I love the hot rocks and all that but it's just a lot to go all the time to get your nails done every two weeks and fill-ins and all that and all that it's, it's a lot it's just a lot when I'm very big on DIY which is how I got into wigs and hair in the first place um because I got tired of having to go to the beauty shop and I love my cousin she does my hair great so if you're in the East Texas area um she's at Hot Styles in Longview her name is Katasha Hair she does great hair but I live in Marshall, which is like 30 minutes away. So by the time I get off work, go get my hair done, drive back home. I'm not, I'm not cooking because it's like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Um, because anybody knows me, this thick mess takes years under the dryer. It's not a quick fix. Um, so I started, um, making wigs to wear in between the time me going to get my hair done. And that's how I got started with doing my own wigs. Like I love to do stuff myself. And so I've been... Thinking about doing some like really good DIYs. Like I've been seeing like a vanity I want, but I think I might can make it work myself. So I'm thinking about doing that. So if you guys want to see some DIYs, let me know. Just any videos you guys want to see, let me know. Um, one of my um, brand ambassador or influencer um, partnerships is coming from my video about my disdain for Ipsy at this point. Um, I've got a bag that should be here today. Um, and that'll be the last Ipsy bag video that you guys will see. It's the July bag. And after that, um, pop sugar. I'm excited about it. And I actually have a code for you guys to get uh, something off a of pop sugar subscription. And I will actually drop that link below because I actually already have that link. I already got everything good with them. So I can't announce that I am an influencer for Pop Sugar uh, subscription boxes. And I will show you guys when I get my first box because um, it's supposed to have three full size um, products in it. So I'm interested to see how that works. Y'all know I'm obsessed with my skin and my face and keeping everything good because yeah. I need to get some sleep though. And I'm hoping I can find something, or if you guys know anything about under my eyes, like I haven't been able to get rid of this like extra skin. 
But for the most part, my skin is great. I love my skin, take care of my skin. Because, I mean, it's the only one I got, you know. And I'm, it's too hot to wear makeup. I'm in Texas, and anybody in Texas know right now, it's 10.34 in the morning, it's already 84 degrees. Which means by 10, by about noon, it's gonna be 90. By about two o'clock, it'll probably be like 92 or 93. Um, yeah, it's, it's hot, it's too hot for makeup. It's too hot for wigs, which is why we've got this puff going on. Because I really needed to wash and deep condition my hair. So, that's how we ended up with the puff. And I'm going to probably go through this weekend, um, re-wet it, blow dry it out, and try to flat iron it and hope it doesn't rain and we have a whole bunch of humidity um, this weekend. And I'm just, yeah, y'all, I'm just, I keep looking over to see if this yellow triangle is going to turn into something different and it has it. Which means I may be stuck here to lunch with no internet. Chronicles of a Family Service Advocate Board. But I love my job. I get to sit in my office and mind my business and do my work. And yeah, I love my job. I love the kids. I love being around kids. Y'all have heard me say that before in previous videos. I love the kids. Um, I really hate that my internet is out. Like this time of year is really, really busy. My kids go to school year round, um, which means I'm still doing paperwork and stuff for the old kids on top of doing paperwork and stuff for my 20 new children that will start in August. And it's just a lot. And so with my internet being out and all of that, it makes it really hard. Oh guys, I think it just came back up. Oh, is mental health break over? Is mental health break over? All right, guys, my internet's back. So mental health break is over. Thanks for chit chatting with me um, during my little mental health break. While everything is restarting, and I'm excited so I can get back to this <sighs> mound of papers on my desk. Y'all, I love this cup. You can't tell, but it says McColl right here, and it's just so pretty. And my best friend makes them. So, if you need a cup, um, she doesn't have her Facebook page yet, but when she gets it, I will link you guys below. Or if you want a cup and want to get in touch with her, just let me know and I can forward you in the right direction. So, mm -mm. I think my internet went back out. No. Family Service Worker Chronicles. What I tell you? No, my internet's not back. Sorry, guys. It says it's back, but it's not. I can't do anything. If I didn't work in such a private place, I would do a go to work with me so you guys could actually see what I do all day. Um, but that is a violation of so many confidentiality laws, so I can't. Um, but just know I work with children, I love children, and I'm not a teacher. I'm on the admin side of the education, so. Um, but if you privately want to know exactly what I do, I can tell you to a certain extent. I can give you general information, but I just don't want to put it out there on this video because I don't know if that is gonna break any social media rules that I had to fill out <laughs> when I started working here. Um, and I, it's just because we deal with a lot of private information, we deal with a lot of sensitive information, dealing with our children, we don't wanna break that trust with our parents, you know, because my parents trust me to come to me and be able to talk to me about things and be able to deal with me and know that I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, their kids got such and such and such, 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 don't be fooling with them. Like, no, that's not gonna, mm -mm. that's not how we fly around here. But okay guys, my internet is slowly but surely coming back up. So thanks for spending part of your day with me and have a good day.